should have waited a little bit longer. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having an amazing day as always. And today I'm going to be giving you guys my five tips on how to rank up faster here in Apex Legends. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for some time now actually, but ever since I hit Apex Predator, I decided to finally make this video. So if you guys can do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me because it does help out so much. And it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more. Or if you're new here on my channel, go ahead and consider subscribing if you do want to see some more Apex Legends content. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first tip that I got for you guys is to play with the right teammates. And what I mean by this is just playing with guys that are similar to your playstyle or at least close to your level of skill. I'm sure many of you already know that playing with randoms, especially in a ranked lobby, is not a good time. But if you don't really have anyone to play with, don't be afraid to make friends and just get to know each other because that's what video games is all about. And when you step into a ranked lobby, things can get out of hand real quick. So that's why it is extremely important to play with guys that you trust. You know, I've been playing with the same two guys because we've gotten so used to playing with each other and I have so much confidence in them, which is also a huge key. So just take the time to really figure out who to play with and try sticking with that same group all the way through because you guys are going to grow together and the chemistry is only going to improve. The second and probably most important tip is to stick together at all times. Like I said, when you step into a ranked lobby, things can go south real fast. So if you're separated from your squad for even a second and you get knocked, I guarantee you're going to get thirsted because all your opponent is thinking about is getting the point for the kill. And, uh, you know, so that's why it's really important to stay close and stick together from beginning to end because the worst thing to happen while playing ranked is getting outnumbered. And uh, if one of you guys gets dropped and the situation is now a 3v2, it's going to be a little tough to overcome that, you know, depending on the situation. But the best thing for you and your squad to do is push everything together at the same time because then you'll make it super difficult for the opposing team, especially if they don't see or hear you guys coming. Uh, and I promise if you guys are able to focus and team shoot one person, then it's basically game over and you guys should be able to easily finish the other two. And that's basically what it all comes down to when you're playing ranked. If you and your squad are able to stick together throughout the whole game, then you guys have a really good chance at winning the match and gaining some more RP. My third tip for you guys is to play consistent. I think me and my guys won 5 straight ranked matches at one point, which was super satisfying to do and it was pretty freaking awesome. I mean we were ranking up like crazy and that's what I mean by playing consistent. You just gotta win your 1v1 gunfights if you want to keep ranking up. It's gonna make you a better player and it's gonna help out your team a lot. Because dropping onto the map and dying right off the bat is not gonna get you anywhere at all. Uh, especially if your goal is platinum diamond or even apex predator you know depending on what your goal is but if you and your squad are playing smart and playing for the win each game I guarantee the results are gonna show and you guys are definitely gonna rank up which brings me over to my fourth tip and it's communication I'm talking about when you're hitting an enemy and crack his shield you have to tell your squad immediately and don't forget to let them know what type of legend it was uh, you know, like let, let's just say for example, I'm shooting at a Bangalore and she has blue shield. I crack her on the head for 75, let's just say. Uh, at that point, I'm telling my teammates, you know, Bangalore's cracked or Bangalore cracked 75 on the head or Bangalore shield cracked, whatever I got to do to give my teammates the green light to push on in and finish her off so that, you know, it turns into a 3v2 fight, which obviously makes it so much easier for us. And another good example of communication is noticing how many heals or how much ammo you have and asking your squad if they need anything at all. If you're out here carrying 9 batteries and not letting your teammates know about it, you just might be the worst teammate ever. But you know, that's why I'm saying you gotta communicate. Your team, so your loot is basically their loot as well. Uh, you also can't be afraid to speak up when it comes to making decisions. Like if one of your teammates is saying to push something but you don't think it's a good idea because you have a feeling you guys are going to get sandwiched, speak up and say something right away before it's too late. Because, you know, communication is key when it comes to winning gunfights and winning matches in Apex Legends. So don't be afraid to practice if that's what it takes. 
the fifth and final tip is positioning I'm talking about moving to the circle and getting high ground before another squad does because it's going to make a huge difference when it comes to ranked, especially end game situations when everyone's flooding in and trying to get away from storm, which is another way to reposition yourself in a great way. You know, uh, what I mean is instead of pushing another team that's inside storm, wait for them inside zone and hit them as they're trying to come in, because if you throw yourself outside zone and fight them in storm you're gonna be so mad to find out that another squad is waiting for your squad to come out of the storm and uh, you know that's why it is super important to think before making a decision and just try to put yourself in the best possible position so that you know you and your squad can win the match uh, movement and positioning are two things that people just underestimate in apex legends but it's never too late to just work on it and get better that way you can get more kills and rank up faster but yeah that's all i got for you guys those were my five tips on how to rank up faster in apex legends i really hope you all enjoyed and please be sure to let me know if these tips were helpful because i love helping you guys out it really does make me so happy that you guys continue to watch my videos and ask for certain tips so yeah man just thank you so much for all the continued support you guys mean the world to me if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy, and feel free to subscribe if you want to see some more Apex Legends content. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.